hey guys I'm gonna show you why bolting is uh, uh, usually better than welding so I'm gonna show you some examples of here of failed welds so uh, this is a, a dolly two-wheeler uh, at the weld it's already cracked through same on the other side it's cracked through where they welded it because this is a very thin tubular steel uh, I, I put a little you know brackets and I put an extra pipe in there to bolt onto and on both sides because this thing just fell apart um, same on this side it's all where the weld is it's all ripped open um, so if you if you look at even like a heavy steel uh, there used to be a weld right here this is broken off this is a uh, half inch same as this uh, it's all ripped open um, so uh, that shouldn't happen like if you if this is welded properly it should uh, melt the two materials together so if you look at this this is like aluminum uh, this is is fine because uh, there's not much stress on this This is from like a kid's scooter so they welded all the round I think this is like overbuilt but uh, if this was a high stress part like on a, a vehicle this weld will eventually crack and same as all the other welds it would just it would crack it all fall apart because the twisting and the vibration is gonna make these things fall apart and and corrosion so that's why uh, bolts are almost always better than uh, if you have like a critical part uh, you know that's why if you're making a project like if I made this one here just bolt it together because the weld uh, is, is probably not going to be as good um, so uh, also right here if, if this little stepladder this thing if you look on the bottom it has literally an entire page of safety warnings written onto this um, but uh, their own manufacturing process uh, two, uh, four of the welds have failed uh, there used to be a bar that would join onto here let me get a a light on here so uh, right here used to be a weld and the pipe would go all the way across to here that has they did it like a little you know kind of a uh, spot weld and it's all falling apart same as the bottom uh, the, the piece that was there is gone exactly the same as the top I put this thing it's extremely thin and it's like a, a shaped like a U and this is extremely strong because I'm bolting it in two spots same as uh, as the other side so I don't even need this bar over here that's that's missing because uh, now this thing is, is sturdy so I don't know how they can get away with uh, making uh, like a, a step ladder that just literally falls apart uh, same same as these these dollies like uh, this is extremely dangerous like if you look at a crutch for example there, I don't see any welds on here. They're using very thin rivets, one here, one over there, to hold this entire assembly together. Uh, the hand grip, the pin inside there is just this. It's extremely thin, but this will never break. Uh, if, the, if they welded this thing together and it broke over here, that's a lawsuit right there. So these guys are smart enough not to do uh, like kind of like these uh, low quality welding jobs you know um, so right here I have some chains this is uh, over 3,000 pound capacity they're not using any welds here this is stamped this this uh, triangle it's stamped out of a piece of metal uh, if this is a 5,000 pound chain uh, this is forged this is a uh, one piece Obviously the chain is, is welded, uh, but they heat treat this stuff and this is especially like heavy duty kind of welds. I'm not sure exactly the manufacturing process, but this is rated for uh, 5,000 and uh, three, over 3,000 pounds. So th these guys uh, know what they're doing. Um, uh, so if you have like a project you don't have to weld it together because it's probably going to be worse than uh, bolting it together okay guys uh thanks for watching have a nice day